So for today's video, I will be testing out the iHeart Revolution uh, Donut Eyeshadow Palette. In this video, I will be testing out the Maple Glaze and the Strawberry Sprinkles. I already tested out the pink one and I forgot the name, but I will link the video up somewhere here. So you can check it out if you haven't watched it yet. But as you maybe saw in my makeup haul, I also got the other palettes now. I also got the Chocolate Drips and the Blueberry Crush. And these two I will be testing out in another video. But like I said, in this video, I will be testing out these two beauties. So I will apply the Maple Glazed on this eye and the Strawberry Sprinkles on this eye so I can look and compare the two and see what looks I can create with them. If you're new here on my channel, I'm a Dutch girl and I'm living in Marmaris, Turkey. And I make a lot of beauty related videos, uh, vlogs, videos about Turkey. So if you like that, make sure you subscribe. And of course, you can also follow me on Instagram. And now let's get started with the video. So I really like the pink palette. So I'm also really curious about these two. So let's have a look. So this is the Maple Glazed. And I love the packaging of these ones. They are like squishy and overly cute. And they smell amazing too. Really sweet. So this is the Maple Glazed really beautiful bronzy colors and this is like a green shade and i'm really curious to see how it looks i think these colors are really perfect for fall um i think you can use this every day and i'm really curious to see how the pigmentation is and then the other one is strawberry sprinkles and again really cute packaging a little bit of a red color and these are the colors really beautiful red shades again colors that you can use in the full really beautiful deep burgundy shades so yes i will start with maple glaze on my right eye for you left i guess but it's my right eye so yeah let's get started these colors don't have names but numbers on the back you can see the numbers as you can see you can see the numbers right here but i will go in with this shade right here and i think this is a good transition shade so i think you can see me a little bit better now i zoomed in quite a bit so i will apply this on my wait on my right eye yeah this one <laughs> It's not too pigmented, it's quite a light uh, shade, but that's good for a transition shade. I think you, you can build it up nicely. Then I'm going in with this darker shade and I will apply this again in my crease. And it doesn't focus on me. Oh, we go really blurry here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, this one is more pigmented. These are colors that I would wear every day, really nice brown shades. Yeah, this one is definitely more pigmented. Then I'm going in with this really interesting green color right here. Oh, there's a lot of pigment coming off. Oh, this is really pretty. I don't know if you can see it really well. It's really nice pigmented, really shimmery. It is so shimmery and it's kind of a golden green shade, which I really love. It's a little bit different. Not your normal golden shade, but just... A little bit different which i like and i'm going in with this color right here which looks like a really nice brown color again nice and shimmery and then the last color i'm going to use is the middle one and this one i'm going to apply in the inner corner of my eye and underneath my eyebrow And I'm also going to apply a little bit of the brown shades underneath my eye. I have to say I really love this palette. The colors are pigmented. As you can see the first one was not that pigmented. But you can build it up nicely. And the other shades are just amazing. I love the green golden shade. Really interesting. And yes I think it works really nicely. Blend easily. So if you are looking for a palette for every day. That you can travel with. Nice and small. Um, yes I really love it. So now let's test out strawberry sprinkles. So yeah let's start with strawberry sprinkles. And again I'm going to use a transition shade. And I'm going to use this shade right here. A nice light beige shade and this one is a little bit more pigmented than the other one blends again really easy then I'm going in with this shade right here Ooh, really nice burgundy color 
as you can see really pigmented again and yeah it's a really interesting burgundy color then i'm going in with this shade right here and i'm going to apply this all over my eyelids and this looks like red so i'm really curious to see how it will look and look how pigmented it is oh wow do you see that wow that's a really vibrant red and i love the finish it's not really shimmery but it has a really nice i don't know like reflecting bits in it i don't know how to explain it then i'm going in with the darker shimmery red and i'm going to apply this a little bit more in the outer corner again super pigmented then lastly i'm going in with the middle shade again and like I did by the other eye, I'm going to apply just the tiniest bit underneath my eye. Now I'm going to use a little bit of eyeliner on both eyes. And of course some mascara to finish it all off. And the eyeliner I'm using is the Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. And the mascara I'm going to use is the Yves Rocher Sexy Build Mascara. And for my lips, I'm going to use the Catrice um, Shine Appeal Fluid Lipstick in the color 80 Rose Woju. So I can only say that I'm really impressed. I think they are both absolutely gorgeous. The colors blend well, they are pigmented and they are small so you can travel with them. This one I think is good for every day. You got like some nice brown and bronzy shades and the shimmery shade is really nice and interesting. And this one I think is really fun and perfect for fall with all like the burgundy shades. So yeah, I have to say I just like the two of them. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Which one was your favorite? If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday a brand new video. And of course, you can also follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!